Hello Skate World, I'm Victor Thorpe, Olympic speed skater, and today I am going to teach you four movements that I think are crucial to be a good skater. Skating is, well if we simplify it, it is a push, a one leg push, and a weight transfer. And if you nail those two to perfection, with the right coordination, the right timing, you're gonna go incredibly fast on skates. These four different movements are the key ones that I'm gonna explain to you. The first is an up-down movement, obviously the push. The next one is the weight transfer, simplified. Then it's an imitation, so we learn to do the weight transfer with loaded power. And then ultimately an up-down weight transfer where we really put extra pressure going from up to down to over. I'm gonna explain them in just a second. In this video, I'll be using weird bands. We are bands are just very simple but very efficient bands that are attached here around your waist. So they apply extra resistance through the entire movements. I use them for basically all my dry land training just to get more out of the time I spend in position and also to be more aware of where my legs are and so that I can activate more muscle groups even in the most simple exercises. Trust me, right now I do feel my quads even though I haven't started yet. Also got these for the upper body if you want to practice and strengthen your upper body and arm swing. This exercise we're going to focus on the lower body only though. Let's get over here and let's get started. As I just explained, it is a one leg push and a weight transfer. So first two exercises is about the push, up, down, squats, very simple. That's how it goes. I would do a lot of repetitions. You can practice either your hands on the back. It's good for stability here. I'm a long distance skater, so this is what I like the most. Or you can do it with the arms just to practice that arm swing and make this a natural habit. So that's the push. Obviously when skating you don't want to go straight up in the air, but given that you have that lean, it's going to be a push to the side. Exercise number two is weight transfer. So you get down in position and you simply just practice shifting that body weight of yours from side to side. Really try and feel all the body weight being on one leg. You should be able to lift the other leg without changing that position. And that is how we go to exercise number three, imitations. The so third exercise is the closest we get to the actual skating movements. Same, we start with that basic position and then we do a beautiful circle called the recovery circle. And then we kind of fall as we push off to the side. Circle, get together. So it's a mix of pushing, but also falling using that body weight. By falling, I don't mean falling down on it, but skating onto it as you use the body weight. Sometimes it can be even easier to see from the side how this leg, called recovery leg, really loads and then go off onto it. I'll just try and show a few repetitions so you get the idea of it. So as you can see, it's not just a powerful quad push, but it's, it's timing that as this one goes through to fall and push at the same time, which will make you go really fast on skates. Last exercise, a little less classic skating, but very, very efficient in really working on this load and the timing of the push. So instead of just going side to side, I'm gonna start up here in straight position. When I say straight, the upper body should still be in that skating position. Otherwise, you're gonna be rocking that up and down. Very not efficient. <laughs> so, have the upper body in a set position. You start up here, and then as you dive down, in one single movement, it is difficult to time this perfectly. It takes a lot of coordination skills, a lot of practice, especially when wearing rear bands. That's, a, that's pretty hard. So, you start up here with the upper body, and as you go down in one smooth movement to the side, and then you go up here, down and feel that load to the side. And load to the side. So that energy, force going down, is what you use to propel yourself to the side. Now I'm doing it smoothly. I'm also doing it sort of practicing only having one leg in the ground, which is why you go down and to the side. Try and lift that up right away. If you wanna do this, 
also just to try and show yourself that you're doing it correctly, you can really use that, that force going down to really try and generate some energy. Again, on skates, keep it flat, keep it horizontal down here. But when doing this last exercise, you can call loaded imitations, up down imitations. You go from up here, one movement, make sure this comes together, this leg comes back here as you are get down in position. So you go down and side. And that's how it goes. Four movements, they are very good to practice very often if you want to figure out good skating. If there's any questions or ideas for new videos, I would love to hear them in the comments. We are bands, my favorite tool for dry line training. Link in the description, 20% off. I am Victor Haltharp, and I'm really happy you watched this video. I hope you want to subscribe. I'll see you next time. My last piece of advice is for you to join me as an investor in the VCC. It's a cryptocurrency that I believe is the crypto of the future, and I think it will only go up from here. I'm an investor myself, and as a VIP ambassador, if you use the link below, you will get 100 coins just for signing up to the platform. Hope to see you there.